empty weight center of gravity formulas. A chart like the one in figure 3-4 helps visualize the weights, arms, and moments when solving an EWCG problem, but it is quicker to determine the EWCG by using formulas and electronic calculator. There are four possible conditions and their formulas that relate the location of CG to the datum. Notice that the formula for each condition first determines the moments of the nose wheel. F times L all over W or tail wheel R times L all over W and then divides it by the total weight of the airplane. The arm thus determined is then added to or subtracted from the distance between the main wheels and the datum, distance T. Nose wheel airplanes with datum forward of the main wheels. CG equals D minus open parenthesis F times L all over W close parenthesis. Nose wheel airplanes with the datum aft of the main wheels. CG equals negative sign open parenthesis D plus F times L all over W close parenthesis. Tail wheel airplanes with the datum forward of the main wheels. CG equals D plus open parenthesis R times L all over W close parenthesis. Tail wheel airplanes with the datum aft of the main wheels. CG equals negative B plus open parenthesis R times L all over W close parenthesis. Datum forward of the airplane. No swell landing gear. The datum of the airplane in figure 3 5 is 100 inches forward of the leading edge of the wing root, or 128 inches forward of the main wheel weighing points. This is distance, or D. The weight of the nose wheel, or F, is 340 pounds, and the distance between main wheels and nose wheel, or L, is 78 inches. The total weight of the airplane or W is 2,006 pounds. Determine the CG by using this formula. CG equals D minus open parenthesis F times L all over W close parenthesis. If we substitute it, it would be 128 minus open parenthesis 340 times 78 all over 2006 close parenthesis and the sum would be 114.8 the CG is 114.8 inches aft of the datum this is 13.2 inches forward of the main wheel weighing points which proves the location of the datum has no effect on the location of the CG so long as all measurements are made from the same location. Datum aft of the main wheels, nose wheel landing gear. The datum of some aircraft may be located aft of the main wheels. The airplane in this example is the same one just discussed but the datum is at the intersection of the trailing edge of the wing with the fuselage. The distance or D between the datum of the airplane in figure 3-6 and the main wheel weighing points is 75 inches. The weight of the nose wheel or F is 340 pounds and the distance between the main wheels and nose wheel or L is 78 inches. The total net weight of the airplane or W is 2,006 pounds.
the location of the CG may be determined by using this formula. CG equals negative sign open parenthesis D plus F times L all over W close parenthesis. If we substitute it, it would be negative open parenthesis 75 plus 340 times 78 all over 2006 close parenthesis. The sum will be negative 88.2. The CG location is a negative value, which means it is 88.2 inches forward of the painting. This places it 13.2 inches forward of the main wheels, exactly the same location as it was when it was measured from other datum locations. Location of datum It makes no difference where the datum is located as long as all measurements are made from the same location. Datum forward of the main wheels, tail wheel landing gear. Locating the CG of a tail wheel airplane is done in the same way as locating it for a nose wheel airplane except the formulas use R times L all over W rather than F times L all over W. The distance or D between the datum of the airplane in figure 3-7 and the main gear weighing points is 7.5 inches. The weight of the tail wheel or R is 67 pounds. The distance or L between the main wheel and the tail wheel weighing points is 222 inches. The total weight of the airplane or W is 1,218 pounds. Determine the CG by using this formula. CG equals D plus open parenthesis R times L all over W close parenthesis. If we substitute it, it will be 7.5 plus open parenthesis. 67 times 222 all over 1218 close parenthesis the answer will be 19.7 the cg is 19.7 inches behind the datum datum aft of the main wheels tail wheel landing gear the datum of the airplane in figure 3-8 is located at the intersection of the wing root trailing edge and the fuselage. This places the arm of the main gear or D at negative 80 inches. The net weight of the tail wheel or R is 67 pounds. The distance between the main wheels and the tail wheel or L is 222 inches. And the total net weight or W of the airplane is 1,218 pounds. Since the datum is aft of the main wheels, use the formula CG equals negative D plus open parenthesis R times L all over W close parenthesis. The values will be negative 80 plus open parenthesis 67 times 222 all over 1218 close parenthesis the answer will be negative 67.8 the cg is 67.8 inches forward of the datum or 12.2 inches aft of the main gear weighing points the cg is in exactly the same location relative to the main wheels regardless of where the datum is located location with respect to the mean aerodynamic weight the aircraft mechanic or repairman is primarily concerned with the location of the cg relative to the datum an identifiable physical location from which measurements can be made but because the physical cord of a wing that does not have a strictly rectangular plan form is difficult to measure, 
wings such as tapered wing express the allowable CG range in percentage of mean aerodynamic chord or MAC. The allowable CG range is expressed in percentages of the MAC. The MAC, as seen in Figure 3-9, is the chord of an imaginary airfoil that has all of the aerodynamic characteristics of the actual airfoil. It can also be thought of as a cord drawn through the geographic center of the plant area of the wing. The relative positions of the CG and the aerodynamic center of lift of the wing have the critical effects on the flight characteristics of the aircraft. Consequently, relating the CG location to the cord of the wing is convenient from a design and operation standpoint. Normally, an aircraft will have acceptable flight characteristics if the CG is located somewhere near the 25 average cord point. This means the CG is located one-fourth of the total distance back from the leading edge of the wing section. Such a location will place the CG forward of the aerodynamic center for most airfoils. In order to relate the percent MAC to the datum, all weight and balance information includes two items, the length of MAC in inches and the location of the leading edge of MAC or LEMAC in inches from the datum. The weight and balance data of the airplane in Figure 3-10 states that the MAC is from stations 144 to 206 and the CG is located at station 161. MAC equals 206 minus 144 equals 62 inches. LEMAC equals station 144. CG is 17 inches behind LEMAC. 160 minus 144 equals 17.0 inches. The location of the CG expressed in percentage of MAC is determined using this formula. CG in percent MAC equals distance F of LEMAC times 100 all over MAC. The values will be 17 times 100 all over 62 and the answer will be 27.4. The CG of the airplane is located at 27.4% MAC. It is sometimes necessary to determine the location of the CG in inches from the datum when its location in percent MAC is known. The CG of the airplane is located at 27.4% MAC. MAC equals 206 minus 144 equals 62. LEMAC equals station 144. Determine the location of the CG in inches from the datum by using this formula. CG inches from datum equals LEMAC plus MAC times CG percent MAC all over 100. The values will be 144 plus 62 times 27.4 all over 100, and the answer will be 160.9. The CG of this airplane is located at station 160.9 inches aft of the vacuum. It is important for longitudinal stability that the CG be located ahead of the center of lift of a wing. Since the center of leap is expressed as a percentage of the MAC, the location of the CG is expressed in the same terms.